And then, of course, uh, with others, we go on to 1974, Schiffmar. Well, what a great horse Schiffmar was over the years. Great horse. And uh, Sir Alec Kresic, a former VRC uh, chairman, had uh, Bouvery in 1976. Then we went on to Masuk, uh, Jim uh, Houlihan. And Jim, of course, has been a great trainer of jumpers over the uh, years. 1978, Pura Mecca, 79, Rothschild and so on, Magistrate, 1981. And uh, then we go through uh, to last year, Al Duane, and Al Duane figured in the protest uh, with Eric Wrigley's horse last year. It's interesting to note there, if you look at the last three years of the Bendigo Cup, it's been dominated by New Zealand horses. Will Hello, Toy, I noticed it's backed out again, Magistrate goes in, we're waiting on Toy to come forward before they can set them on their way for the Bendigo Cup. Now Toyd comes in, three from the outside, and they're now set, ready to go. Astral in in one. 2,200 metres. Couple of them, Edgy. Comedy Bay, very toey in two. And attendant with Darren Gouchy, lights on. Racing in the Bendigo Cup. Uh, jumping out very quickly down near the inside there was Barmax, and given a cut for the whip in the early stages, Beaver Boy was well away too, and showing speed was Island Sun in search of the early lead, the Bolter. Saddle Knight was prominent too, followed by New Plymouth, and then Toyd going forward. Avid was back behind them from St. Rebricius, and then Barmax getting back with Beaver Boy. Astralin's got a fair way back as they head out of the straight and go towards the 1800 metre mark, where Island Sun, the Bolter, took over and steadied in front. Led by a length and a half, Saddle Knight was second, Barmax running third. Now Toyd's trapped out three deep, Avid in the centre. Baglaga Boy's on the inside too lengths to Amala and then Beaver Boy and Centra Brasius. A couple of lengths to Astral in. They're followed by Cameo Bay. Magistrales back fourth last and then Dusty Springs. Cromedy Bay is second last and New Plymouth is four lengths away last. 1,300 metres left to go now and the Saddle Knight stroke to the lead the New Zealander from an outside barrier led by a length now to Toyd who got across one off the fence and travelling in third place then was Island Sun there followed by Avett moving up fourth and then Bag Lager Boy over on the inside is Barmax and then Beaver Boy and Amala was next going forward Astral in on the outside with Cameo Bay improving Central Brasillas poking up on the inside was next and then Dusty Springs Magistrell well back in the field with the Cromarty Bay and last of all is New Plymouth about to make that back turn, 900 metres left to go now. And the leader, Saddle Knight, by a length to Toyd, is really travelling second. In third place was Avid on the outside of Island Sun, improving, going between runners next. They're followed then by Bag Lager Boy, starting to improve. Cameo Bay going around them on the outside in a hurry too. And they're followed then by Dusty Springs. Astralin's hooked out deeper on the track as they come to the turn. Beaver Boy's dropped out to be second last, passed by Magistrell. And Central Brasius was shuffled back to last. Now the race on in earnest into the straight. 400 to go, Saddle Knight the leader. Toyd straight up on the outside and went to the front very easily, through to the front, Toyd. In second place was Saddle Knight. They're followed by Bag Lager Boy. Here's Cromarty Bay from a long way back, starting to fly, and then Magistral at the 200. Toyd's about two lengths in front. Cromarty Bay on the outside, trying hard, and then Magistral finishing well, followed by Astralin. Toyd's two and a half lengths in front. He's stopping. Astralin's flying. Toyd in front, and Toyd's going to win the Bendigo Cup by a length and a half. Astralin. Cromarty Bay got third, then Magistral. Magistrella, Central Brasillas, a good run, followed by Bag Lager Boy, Barmax, then New Plymouth, Avid, well back in the field with Saddle Knight, Cameo Bay was well back, Island Suns, the last one we can pick up. Area 14, had him one off the fence going into the back straight, was absolutely bolting in the run. Once he let him go, Toy dashed to the lead at the 400 metre mark, and he had it all parceled up. Astralin started to finish solidly, the kind and cup winner down the outside with Cromarty Bay, but the post was too close and Toyd has won nicely at the finish by about a length and a half from the other two who uh, tried valiantly with Magistrell just behind them and very good run by Central Brasius under the circumstances. Okay, we've checked the interim dividends.